<laughs> Guys, what is this? What's going on here? Let me tell you what's going on. We are currently, right now, below the bull market support band. And you know what this means? This means <clears throat> the day of reckoning is upon us. It is very unlikely that we um, we bounce back up, right? It's very unlikely. And what is likely to happen now is for us to go down lower, right? Looks like we're, we're yeah, I mean, th th that we saw, you know, like we're just below it and we're going to we're gonna have some more capitulation. It's going to come down like this, right? It's going to be like, it's going to come down this way for sure. Like no questions asked. And I would not be surprised. And this, this red line here, this is the 50 week moving average. This is the 100 day moving average, right? It was, it was able to break above have a close and then got rejected by the 100 and we're coming down and i see us coming down to like about 30k that is where i see us go there is not this bearish phenomenally phenomenally bearish if you have positions i would be nervous if you have short positions great if you have long positions look expect some pain all right we're headed towards pain um this is i mean like I, I don't know how many times I've said this. I've said this a whole bunch. I'm going to switch back to the weekly because that's where I like to bond play. Um, but I've said this like a hundred times, dude. So I've made a bunch of videos about this. When we close below the 50-week moving average, which is this pink line, we go and test the 200-week average, which is not listed here, right? I don't have it up. Let me see. Wait, 200. There it is. 200 weekly, right? And we're going to go test the 100 for sure. Like, for sure, we're going to come down to 100. That's at about 35. I think we'd go lower than that. And really, it's possible. It's entirely possible that we go test the 200. The 200 right now is at 21. But you know, and I know that this can go up. This can go up, right? But like by late May, maybe we might be down at 30K. I am not. I don't call. And I mean, I have no zero trust in this thing. Zero. Zero. This is a capitulation. This is us being whacked over and over again by this market right there the market cares not what what it wants to do it's going to absolutely destroy us at its will so i think that is what that that is what's going to happen i don't think you should um i i'm not i'm certainly not going to put anything in this right I think we're going to close, go, and we're just going to go down. Because, I mean, like, you got to hold this this bull market support band and bounce up, right, like, right here, like, back here, right? This, you, you break above the bull market support band, then you come test it here, then you come up, you go test it again, and then you keep going, you ride the bull market support band. But if you break through and you try to come out, and you're not able to, and you break through again, you're not, you're going down, bro, right? Once you break through, you're making new lows. So we've come up above, and now we're going to break through. We're going to make some new lows, right? We're going to do some, like, terrible, terrible, disgusting stuff, basically. If we get to 30K, I'm going to be pretty happy to buy, right? If we can get to 25K, I'm going to be really happy to buy. If we get to 20K, I'm going to go goofy. I'll be really excited because the 30K is a 3X basically to 100K. 25K is a 4X and a 20K is a 5X. Oof, that sounds wonderful. 15K, boy, that that's a dream right there. 15K Bitcoin if we get there. But it's very, very unlikely, right? We might see a wick down to 20K. That's what I'm expecting. And we might go, tet, like, you know, a wick might touch the, the 200 week. But we're not going to stay down there low. People like me are just going to buy this stuff like hotcakes when it gets to 200k there's no not even a second thought we're gonna dump everything into it right that's how it's gonna be because we we know what what happens when we get to 200 the 200 week is like a holy grail now you see this wick goes down all the way to the 300 i don't have the 300 here but that the 300 here is like down here somewhere right like 13k or something like that uh yeah probably something like 13k um but what a deal that would be to scoop it up at 13. Oof. But I would not leave any of my capital down there at those buy orders because it's just so risky. You might lose them. I mean, you might not. Yeah. My humble spot is get your orders met. But the 200-week moving average is the deal of a century. If you can buy down here, it's, and it, only, it happens infrequently, but if you can buy down there, you got the deal of a century. And we haven't been there in a while. It's been a while. How long has it been? 2020 was the last time we hit it. So it's been over two years. 2020 March. 
So it's been about two years now and uh, just over two years. So it's about time. I think it's about time. Right. But you know what this means? Uh, wow. We went a long stretch. without touching. If we go down to the 200 week moving average, you know what this means? It's a start of a new cycle. Right. And what that means is it's really not good news for Bitcoin. That means that these cycles have shortened significantly. And, you know, the olden days where you really had these long cycles where you really made huge, massive tops is gone, which is pretty unfortunate. Um, but we'll wait and see. I will talk to you tomorrow.